I dieted over 50 weeks for this moment. But before we get there, we have to go back to the beginning. This is me at 4 to 5% body fat for the first time in my life. I've been dieting for 50 weeks in preparation for this bodybuilding competition where I was invited to compete against professional bodybuilders with the opportunity to receive my pro card if I won. What does it mean to get a pro card? Well, honestly, nothing at all but for someone who has trained for 11 years i compete in bodybuilding competitions like this every three to five ish years as a way to keep me training long term it helps me work towards something and it helps me see my overall progress so for me winning my pro card is more of a personal achievement and also so i can brag about it on my instagram bio so let's get that pro card baby or not but i guess you'll have to wait and see receiving a statue competitor number One day out from the show, baby. Let's go. No, we're not one day out. <laughs> it is show day, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. This is the best you've looked. Have I? Yeah. Yeah. I'm very happy. Oh, you should see this shot. It looks amazing. Money shot. My ass! <laughs> Ooh, how are you Let's feeling? Go. You nervous? The week before, we found out that I start to lose a little bit of definition throughout the day after I eat some food. So we did pack some meals, but the plan was to pretty much fast until I hop on stage. So I am going to be starving. So I've got my meals all sorted out. So check it out. This is the emergency... No, this is sustenance. Why are we... Tie-over? Tie-over meals. That's just for the hunger. Yeah, so this is just for hunger. Just fat and protein. Fat and protein won't affect the physique. Hopefully. Otherwise, if I'm looking flat, emergency meals, rice, soy sauce, chicken breast, or sodium, carbs, protein. Pre-workout meals, we've already got them like prepared. It's like salt, 3D, pump formula, and... Frosties, 55 grams. And check out my lunchbox. Huge, right? Perfect. And the Frosties. Yeah. I wish I had an ice pack. Do we need an ice pack? We don't have ice packs. So we're using noodle soup. <laughs> this is Ethan, Wesley's little brother. Little but big. That means Go. he's also my uh, <laughs> coach boyfriend. Step, step. <laughs> Getting excited. Show day, show day, baby. Show there, show there, baby. We're on the way to the competition. Hype up. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a montage. Yeah. <laughs> so we just arrived. At the venue, we are a little bit late for our tent, so I'm just rushing over. I got myself prepared. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Which is the one that I got the tan yesterday on? Uh... Is this one? <laughs> do I look darker than before, or do I look the same? Look, look the same color. Yeah. As this? Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So we just got to the location. Got my tan. Now we're basically just chilling. It's so cold in here. I've got like 10 layers on. Whoa! <laughs> no, we have to censor that, it's not free. I just need to relax until 12. To make sure that I'm not moving so much. It's just fasting. We're just chilling. Starting with competitor 38. Wow. And relax. 57, Anthony Dowson. Hey. <laughs> yeah, muscle nation plug. <laughs> The <laughs> usual shows are always a little bit delayed. Basically, I'm not on it until like 12. So I think now we're just kind of chilling. I just got to sip on water. I feel very chapped. I'm going to go get some chapstick. And <laughs> oh, you have some? Yeah. I'd like to see your physique. Yep. We'll go somewhere private as well because I don't want anyone else to see. All right. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I was getting pretty damn hungry. As the time I was meant to be on stage kept getting pushed back and I still hadn't eaten anything yet. All I could do now was pretty much try to hold the conditioning until I hopped on stage, so we found a nice quiet spot to see how my physique was looking. If I started to look flat, this is where the emergency meals would come in, but we were still looking pretty decent. So at this point, as the starving component child I am, I had to keep starving for now. Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't see you there. So it is currently... I don't even know what. <laughs> we are currently one hour behind schedule. I am fasting until I am on stage, so I'm hungry. <laughs> so we're gonna have a coffee, small long black, 
two equal. I can't wait for my pre-workout meal. 55 grams of Frosties. I'm addicted to Frosties. True starving Cambodia child right now. Farmer boy. Where's my straw hat? So hungry. <laughs> Look good though. <laughs> hey, you know what? If we don't win today, at least I'm the coolest person on stage. <laughs> Pump. Food. That's something to be <laughs> Frosties. That's so good. I've just tried Frosties. <laughs> what is it? We were finally told to start getting ready, so the pre-workout meal went in, and it was time to check the physique one last time. I'm nervous now. It's getting there. I've been waiting for you. Happy with that? Yes, sir. <laughs> this was our first time competing in a competition with prejudging, so I'm not actually too sure how it works as it could be different for each competition, but generally prejudging is used to rank the competitors and is where most of the judging will happen. However, the judging isn't finalized, so this also gives the competitor the opportunity to make any final adjustments to their physique before hopping on stage for the finals. Yeah, I'm charging extra for this one, mate. <laughs> and so finally, after 50 weeks of dieting, I was about to hop on stage for the first time in four years. So we just got done with uh, pre-judging. I'm lost. That was the hardest I've ever posed in my entire life. Oh my god, I've got my posing routine. So I got my posing routine and then we got the finals. The main thing is, I guess, fatiguing in the front pose. That's the main concern. I was sweating. It's literally like a sauna out there. We're thinking about having an emergency meal, which is the carbs. After the pre-judging, we noticed that we weren't quite sharp enough and I was starting to cramp up on stage due to being so dehydrated. Just waiting until finals. Starting to cramp a little bit, so I got my quad stretched. <laughs> so we're just doing physique check. Uh, about six more categories. Sorry, I just moved you. <laughs> my bad. Oh, he's dried out. He's dried out. Look at that. Oh. Better than pre-judging? Really? Really <laughs> 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 sure time, baby? That's so good. Going up against professional bodybuilders was a completely different experience compared to when I competed before. They all looked amazing, they were all able to hold their poses for so long, and it was so intimidating. I'm not gonna lie, I've never had to hold these poses for that long before, so I was struggling to hold these poses as I was fatiguing so much. So with the finals getting closer and closer, I was getting more and more nervous, and I had all these questions in my head. Were we able to dry out enough? Was I going to cramp up on the stage? Am I going to have enough energy to be able to hold these poses? And how well would this starving Cambodian child do against professional bodybuilders?
We were all exhausted. The standard for this competition was unreal. The conditioning every single competitor brought to that stage was extremely high level and they all looked insane. So did we bring a package good enough to win? We all lined up and the judge announced the placings from 6th place to 1st place and we finally made it to the top 2. Please take that statue to our 2nd place getter. Competitor number 36. <laughs> and there you have it. We didn't win. <laughs> but hey, I mean, I may not have been number one at this competition, but at least I'm number one at something else. But in all seriousness, that's bodybuilding. There will always be competitors who have more muscle, better shape and symmetry, and at the end of the day, it is a subjective sport. Was I disappointed at the time? Of course, I think anyone in my position would be. But the physique I brought this time around was definitely the best so far, and I am beyond proud of myself. We did go on to compete in an untested IFBB show where I did get first callouts against untested athletes, and unfortunately I didn't win my pro card at nationals as the pool of competitors was also very, very good. But before I could continue on and do my final show, I definitely hit that prep fatigue, and no matter what I did, I think my body definitely hit its limit after prepping for over a year. Could I have gotten my pro card if I did that final show? Who knows? But honestly, I don't think I deserve a pro card just yet. I think after seeing the discipline and work ethic of actual professional bodybuilders, I don't think I'm quite there yet. I'll be honest, I had nights where I binged and fell off my diet, I didn't practice holding my poses for long enough, and there is still a lot more muscle that can be built. Bodybuilding takes time, especially if you're doing it naturally. And sure, there are easier ways to win a pro card, but to me, a pro card is more of a milestone. I want to not only bring a professional level physique, but I want to be able to have that mental discipline as well. My prep next time definitely won't have to be that long since we know how much weight we need to lose, but it won't be for a very long time since I do need more time to build muscle. Until I can compete and bring an amazing physique without falling for cravings and cheating on my diet and being able to properly reverse diet without gaining close to 20 kilograms post a show, that to me is the standard I hold as a professional bodybuilder. Got second place, unfortunately, for the gold class. But honestly, we looked really good. We beat pros. It's bodybuilding. It is what it is. Yeah. And this is against pros. Again, against pros. But the internet, it's going to be. He came second! <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. And you know what I have to say to that? You <laughs> are. And that's it. The long awaited show day vlog that I put off for so long that I got someone else to edit it for me. <laughs> but thank you guys all so much for the love and support since I've started this content creation journey. Never in a million years would I imagine myself being in this position and it's only going to get better. So from the bottom of my heart, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. I'm actually not that sad about it to be honest. I'm gonna go eat and you guys are coming along. So let's go. <laughs> What? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs>